Miranda Kerr grew up in the country racing motorbikes and riding horses before winning an Australia-wide model search aged 13. She stayed in school and finished year 12 before gracing catwalks and magazine covers while living in New York with Frankie, her Yorkshire Terrier. Now she's a genuine supermodel, the first Aussie to star as a Victoria's Secret Angel, and she's working alongside Megan Gale as David Jones's fashion ambassador. Please welcome the angelic Miranda Kerr! You did that very well, but I expect that of a model to walk that catwalk very well. I know, you're lucky I didn't turn around and come back. That's what I would have thought. That's what I would have thought. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing very well. I've got something to confess. Okay. <laughs> you were in my dream last night. <laughs> it was quite realistic, actually. Is it. <laughs> Let is, me it just... is it one we can share? Well, let me just say you were quite flirtatious and I, you know, kind of liked it. <laughs> it was... <laughs> David just... <laughs> so, what was I doing? Uh, you, well, you were in my apartment in New York and you were just sitting on my sofa just kind of talking to me like, yeah, Miranda, how you doing? I was like, yeah, good. <laughs> uh, was, I, I don't want to say anymore. That's actually quite strange because I was in your apartment. And you, <laughs> you weren't home. No, you weren't home. That's... And it's funny, you know, Miranda, that you were in my dream life. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, if it's, I'd just like to take this opportunity of saying thanks. <laughs> oh, my pleasure, Bert. Yeah. See, because normally. That's what you said last night, didn't you? <laughs> See, normally, normally when people have dreams, it's a bit weird and it starts off as, well, it was you, but then you turned into a monkey and then you started brushing your teeth and jumped off on a unicorn and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I... no, there was no unicorns in this dream. <laughs> I'm feeling incredibly uncomfortable right now. <laughs> but at the same time, there's gentlemen everywhere just going, you lucky bastard. I mean, I dream every night. That's the funny thing. Like, I'll dream of... I don't know, just random things, and you happened to be there last night. It was very realistic. Well, I wasn't in your apartment. I just no. want to make that clear. Miranda, no, you, you weren't. Like... Obviously, I was here in Sydney, so it was my apartment in New York that you were in the dream. Well, mm. Miranda, would you like the rest of us to leave? No, no. no. It's, okay. Good. it's getting very hot in here right about now. So tell me a little bit more about yourself. <laughs> I saw it in the package there that you grew up in the country. Yeah. Gunnedah, country. Is, that the, is that the town where you grew up? Mm -hmm. What's that place like? It's Growing amazing. Up... It's amazing. I grew up, like, you know, on the farm with my grandparents, riding motorbikes, horses, climbing trees. I love climbing trees. And then you suddenly get thrust into the world of modelling. Yes. D does any of that come in handy? What, the tree climbing? Yeah. Um, like all this stuff, you got you're a country girl, then you get you get thrust in the world of modelling. You're on your way to New I York City. I think it City. helps keep me grounded. Definitely helps keep me grounded. So what happens when you go home? Is your family still based there? In Canada, yeah. So what's it like now? Here you are, big time international supermodel. I haven't been back there in a while. I'm hoping to get back there this. You have trip. changed, Miranda Kerr. Oh, I have not. <laughs> I have not. You totally have. No, I'm hoping to get back there this trip. And how have you found? I it was this trying time to around? encourage David Jones to do a shoot there, actually. On a horse, free-flowing dresses. You climbing trees. Me climbing trees. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. David, do you have a question? Oh, Miranda. Yes. Um, I work at a jewellery store, and yeah. a Kelly's in Wollongong. So I was just wondering if you ever need any jewellery, you can come down and I can hook you up. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Technically not a question, David. It was a statement. <laughs> a, st a statement and a plug. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken. Where is the store? In Wollongong. Oh, great, yeah. yeah. yeah if I get any spare time. Yeah, OK. Any jewellery that you like? Rings, necklaces? Um, <laughs> I quite like a bracelet. OK. Yeah. yeah. And I go. like rings, all as right. you can see. I'll put that in order for It's you. all good. It's David can hook you up, apparently. <laughs> what are you wearing there? 
Hitting? You've got a necklace. Yeah, there we go. Chain. Look What's out. in that? Oh, just What's with my that? cross oh, in it. Okay. But, yeah, confirmation. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to dream about you now. This is what you do. This is how you do it. That's what you do. You break into her apartment in the middle of the night, you whisper in your ear, dream about me. <laughs> hey, now, I'm very... <laughs> what have you got there? <laughs> Congratulations, because I read in the paper the other day that you eat. I do. Well done, young lady. I know, I had, Congratulations. Um, I saw a photo of you eating a sandwich and I thought, good for you. No, I had a four-course meal. A four-course so meal? So it made the headlines. How do you do it? Now, it's oh, a bit of a cliche thing, isn't I it? I love my food. Everything in moderation, but I must say, I, I just... Yeah, it's definitely something that I love. One of my favourite things is food. So good food, good healthy food. But here's all these things, right? You, you, you say uh, all, all these models just like, oh, I always like to eat lots of food, and I was the unpopular one at school, and all this stuff that doesn't no, seem... No, I was popular at school. Oh, OK, well, that's good. <laughs> at least I know. But is there anything people don't know? What's the one thing people wouldn't know about you? Um, well, OK, let me think about that. I've given away a few secrets. Um... The one secret I haven't given away is that my belly button um, is actually an innie, but it can be turned into an outie. <laughs> once again, once again, I ask the, once again, I ask the question, is this something we can share with everybody? <laughs> if you want, I mean, I could show you. Go on. Yeah. Your, your belly button. I mean, it's not like people haven't seen my belly button before. <laughs> So, yeah, so okay. okay, let me show you. Wait, there's my belly button. It's an innie. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, wait, oh, yeah. store it. It's an Audi. Oh, no, move your hand, okay, move wait, your wait, hand. Wait, we can't which see. End? Which end? Which end? There? Wait. Right, down the camera three. That one? It's an Audi. And look, wait, it pops back into an innie. Oh! <laughs> Good trick. <laughs> All right. Now, on the heels of that, would you like to try to win 20 bucks in 20 seconds? Ooh. Can it get any better than this? I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm scared. All right, let's start the clock. If you told us Victoria's secret, would she have you killed? Probably. Have you ever solved a Rubik's Cube? I've tried, but I'm too impatient for that. What's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? Oh, I can't say on national television. <laughs> My grandma's watching. Oh, all right. Does your bum look big in anything? I don't know. Maybe you should tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You're being very naughty tonight. Do you think Daniel McPherson will make a good Dancing with the Stars host? Um, I think Daniel McPherson is good at anything he does. Who's hotter, regular Orlando Bloom or pirate Orlando Bloom? I'm quite partial to a pirate outfit. <laughs> <laughs> And Miranda Kerr, who would you turn gay for? You've done a very good job tonight um, of just, just breaking any myth to the contrary, but... Um, I'd have to say there's only one answer to that. Meek and Gale. Oh. oh. <laughs> David Jones just had a wet dream. Thank you very much. You get that. Andy Lee, you lucky man. <laughs> Miranda is here launching the David Jones Summer Collection. Please thank Miranda Kerr, everybody. <laughs>